human. It's time to wake up. Eh? Here, I brought you some green tea and a bowl of rice. I'm very sorry if it is a little plain. I am not used to entertaining for guests and my own tastes have grown quite simple over the years. As a cleric of Knox, uh, we try and make our waking moments easy and uncomplicated so that our mind is preserved for the dreamscape. Eh? It may seem odd, but it is what my faith dictates. Oh, well, thank you very much. I'm glad that it is okay. No, I was wondering if, given your harrowing journey before arriving here, of course, you would like a bath. Well, of course. As a matter of fact, we have heated baths of a sort. Yes, very luxurious. <laughs> um, it's actually quite similar to the way that the High Elves heat their homes and their water, but in a more natural way. Yes, that's right. Hot springs. <laughs> Volcanic activity causes waters to heat up and steam. It's quite relaxing, and it's even supposed to help with healing. Well, I, I understand you're feeling quite weak. Perhaps I could join you and help you bathe. Not that I wish to make you uncomfortable. If you'd rather, we can simply... <laughs> well, okay, if you're sure. Here, let me carry you there. There we are. Ah, nice and warm. Mm. Just relax. See? Don't you feel better already? Just let the minerals do their work. So, since we are relaxing, I feel I should ask, what made you travel through such a dangerous area? Surely not just for the hot springs. Hmm. Spiritual guidance. My speciality. How can I assist you? Oh, <laughs> big question. Well, the gods one chooses to worship is very much linked to their beliefs. I follow Fromage. Silly name, I know, but he is an endlessly inventive god with dominion over dreams and the abstract. I chose him because I admire that spark of creativity, the untamed muse of the mind. But, by that same merit, I could have equally chosen Luoda, Frost Elf God of Creation. You see, it is complex. One may follow absent God of Alcohol and Lust and not drink. Or follow Salre Ulvun, god of the moons, but still enjoy the feeling of the sun on your face. Our relationship to the gods is a personal journey, and one that few can guide us through. When one is forced to worship, it can feel less like a comfort and more like a burden. Some faiths, like the Silken Mother or Kildom, are ruled with fear. I think this is unnecessary. Does that help you at all? Hmm. Well, why not tell me what you believe in? How do you feel the world should work? <laughs> yes, I suppose I through the hard question back at you. But that is what you must ask yourself. Think it over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now let me jump. Perfect. Now I'm just going to... Oh, oh my, I, I am 
so sorry. Um, preening is just a natural instinct, and I saw some of your hairs were astray, and I just started. Um, I am so sorry. It's not my place to invade your personal space like that. Instinctual, I assure you. Well, if you're sure, uh, let me just add some uh, sandbark oil into your hair. It helps with tangles. <laughs> Perfect. Pardon? My s scarves. I am old, my friend. Old enough to remember war. It's not worth discussing an awful moment in history where the heavens brought battle to our plane. To all planes. You couldn't even escape it in your dreams. I had faith even then, as a paladin, with my brother. He, um, he fell, as it happens, and I lived on to spread peace, not war. I used to carry a sword at my hip, and now I carry a lantern. You see? The world can be cruel and violent and nonsensical and harmful, but it can be beautiful and, and, and warm and welcoming, and I have seen it all, seen both sides of that terrible conflict. The monster war made people hate me before they even knew my name. It made so many afraid. And do you know what came from it? The first ever multi-species city. Is that not beautiful? I have never been to Istan, but... Making something kind and loving from such an awful place. That has to give us a little piece of hope, doesn't it? Just relax. There is no need to fear anymore. I... I know it's scary. Conflict looming on the horizon. Everyone seems so cruel and... ready for bloodshed. But that is not the case. Not for everyone. Not for me and not for you. And there are so many like us. With every dark storm, with every scar, there comes healing and sunshine. Do you see my body? I am not cured of these wounds. They did not leave without any trace of themselves. And for many years I wasn't okay. Even after the war I was broken. Look at me now. Do I seem broken to you? <laughs> it is um, like the art of Kintsugi, where broken things are put back together with gold outlining the crack. You show the floor, the breaking point, as a mark of beauty. I am still learning to love these scars. I cannot look you in the eyes and claim that I am happy with who I am every day of my life. But that is much like the world. I cannot claim that I am happy. Every time I hear of the news, 
hear of airships, hear of conflicts, of civil wars. It weighs heavily on my soul. But these things end and the world continues marching forward. Every single generation has thought that theirs was the last. They all thought it would finish. But all of us, all of us continue. Hmm. No, I suggest we lie back and enjoy the peace of the hot springs. No more thoughts and worries. And eventually, when you know, you can tell me what your beliefs are, and we shall find which deity is yours. <laughs> Artwork in this video was by Opa.